Hi guys, good day and welcome to today on Princess Anu TV. Hope you're fine, hope you're great. And you know, I came back today and I saw some comments in the comment sections concerning international students and I thought I should address it before the end of today. Hope you had a nice time because I did kind of, I went out then after that I went to church. Then what else did I do today? I went to the post office like i did a lot of like running around <laughs> i'm moving around today so i just thought we should talk about this before the end of yeah for new people that are here and you don't know me yeah i'm princess anu and i love my subscribers so much and so i can budge in and budge out <laughs> like i always like to see you guys so i keep training videos so in case you like the channel it's about aviation motivation and adventure so do well to like subscribe subscribe you're gonna love this place trust me just subscribe so let's move into what we have for today guys somebody asked me if international students will come from their place to nigeria to write the exam i what one thing i have in mind is that just like the way they do it internationally you know i have some customers that have also gone like to places like the u.s and uh like the US mainly South Africa, they go write their entrance exams. That's for schools that have entrance exams because not all schools have entrance exams. Most schools is about the money. But now for a place like Enka that is about the entrance exam, I don't think there's going to be any differentiation whatsoever about those that are uh those that are like in the country and those that are outside the country. Except you have hours. That's something that I'm so sure of. If you've flown somewhere, you might not have to write the exams again. But if you've not flown anywhere, I tell you, I promise you, <laughs> if you come, you're going to write the exams. Except you have a very long leg that is going to put you into the system without writing the exams. But whether you're coming from India, you're coming from China, you're coming from the US, and you're thinking, it's the same thing. We as Nigerians too, we like go out when we are going to flight schools, we go out to other flight schools, write their exams. Like I know flight schools like Phoenix is they write exams. Flight schools, like there are a lot of flight schools that actually write entrance exams before you can get in. But there are some. You don't need to write any exam. Once you have your uh once you have your papers complete and you've been, you can pay acceptance fee you can pay school fees you're good to go so i think that's where the whole difference between nigerian institutions and maybe some other institutions so it just depends on the setting and i think most of the schools that want you to write an exam are schools that have like a college kind of setting like maybe they are running maybe a university degree and they're also running the flying or they're running something together with the flying they're not just doing only the flying so these are some things you should kind of like take note of when you are applying to schools do you want a full stop do you just want the flying can you find one that is very expensive can you find one that you have to buy call the exam but seriously writing the exams can be fun but the only problem is when somebody fails i don't want it to fail so if you can find a way to go to schools like good schools that you don't have to write evaluation exams then you now pay and later they say oh sorry sorry and all that you can just buy cut it but for nigeria i think i'm not 100 percent sure because Obviously, we are not in school, and I'm not going to act if international student. But I know that international students, whether you're international or you're a local student, that's from the country. <laughs> you are definitely going to uh, write the exams before you can be taken in into like the school stuff. So, guys, that's all I have for you today. I'm going to be. I want to do kind of like a teaching and all that, but it was already late. I just felt let's just chill let's talk about all the questions you guys are asking so i'm going to be seeing you in tomorrow's video keep watching princess Anu tv as usual and don't forget i remain your favorite presenter on this channel on this channel <laughs> so i see you guys tomorrow bye guys